I've gotten myself in a bad situation and I want to share how you can avoid it. It's three components. The first one, why you need your own offer. I'm currently in the midst of launching my Hail Mary, my last card up my sleeve in hopes to get in the rhythm of spring because I'm officially out of time. So my Hail Mary is my own offer. I'm offering production of online video courses for educational institutions. It's unique because no one to our knowledge offers this in our city. So great, we have our offer, but we need to let people know. So I currently emailed two colleges in all of their departments on Friday, March 8th, which was about 30 emails. On Monday, March 11th, I'll send out close to another 100 emails to every single educational department in the city. I'm already ready to follow up, you know, multiple times. And once I get to follow up three via email, I'll be calling and scheduling for in-person meetings to pitch our offer if it comes down to it. So if you couldn't tell, it's sink or swim. But I'm acting in such a way to give myself the best chance to succeed. For those that are curious what we're sending in each of those emails, we're sending a video that is just over a minute. It explains who we are, what we are offering. It's kind of like an elevator pitch and a proposal attached. We have other services here at Saturn's Ring that slow down dramatically, so with our backs against the wall, we can lean on our own offer and be as loud as humanly possible. Number two is the cycle. I've said it in a few different ways, but it's three things. Learn and practice, reach out, create your own content, repeat. That's it. We can only focus on one thing at a time, but we can structure all three of these actions in our daily lives as creatives. And the great thing is, is that they build on top of each other. Learning more about your profession is a must and practicing new techniques within your profession compounds and it allows you to not only keep up to date in terms of knowledge, but also helps you become more effective and efficient. For instance, if I didn't learn more about production, it might still take me an entire week to edit a podcast where I can now knock out six or seven episodes in one day. Now, the second part of the cycle, reaching out. This is part of the reason why I'm in this tough position right now, and I'll talk a little bit more about it in a minute, but people have to know what you do. Let's think about social media for a second. Your feed always changes, right? New things are popping up with each refresh. To some degree, you have to be consistent in putting yourself out there, right? But here is a little nugget for you. What is easier to compete with, your email or social media? It's your email. Now hear me out. You can lay out exactly what you want in a concise email. You can give resources, assets, links to demos, videos, any sort of examples. You can put all of that in an email. For those saying I'm wrong, your email is extremely hard to get rid of. Whereas your social media, can be deleted at seemingly any time for any reason. Shout out Houston Cold. Huge value, huge following. And just like that, he's gone. Now Houston seemingly didn't do anything wrong and I'm sure he's gonna get his stuff back, but the point is, he didn't have any control over this decision. And the third part of the cycle, the most powerful one in my opinion, create your own content. You build physical, technical, and social skills all in one medium. You're far more valuable as someone who creates, and oftentimes you have to create to keep the ideas flowing. And don't worry, I'm gonna keep talking about this one in the future. So you do these three tasks and refine your own process over time, and honestly, there isn't much that can stop you. So we have your offer, your cycle, and the last one, consume with caution. You need more time with you, more than likely. And there's only so much you can take in from other people online. And if you take too much in, if you're like me, you'll freak out and second guess everything that you do and know. And unfortunately, I fell into this trap as I was trying to help others avoid it entirely. Well, so what's the trap? I was getting wrapped up in the aesthetics, the styles, and guess where I found myself? Out of work because I broke the cycle. And I'm going to keep saying this, the styles are not viable products. They are tools. If you chase these styles and use them as pillars in your offer, you already lost. Why, Kyle? Why? Because you get into the conversation and you don't even know what to charge for your services. Sound familiar? You have to build your own offer. Stick to the cycle. It's easier to do things when you don't have other people's ideas in your head. 
have those boundaries and be intentional of what you're trying to find. Consume with caution. Don't be like me. Don't get distracted by the new styles or trends that are making their way on your feed. Focus on the problem that you're trying to solve and give yourself a better chance to continue to do business. If you want to tackle Nuance problems within the editing software or in your own business, consider checking out our paid Discord community. Again, do not be like me. I'll see you in the next one.